Hi everyone, my name is Akuridi Adenike. You're welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to make cloudy ruffle sleeve. And I'm making use of this basic sleeve. I have a video on how to cut it. I'm going to put the link in the box below. So, And here is the tissue net that I'm going to use for my ruffle, cloudy ruffle sleeve. So I have a lot of strip here. You can cut as much as you want, as fuller as you want it. So I'll now go ahead and hem the bottom of my sleeve. If you want, you can make your sleeve length longer than this. And if you want, you can make it shorter than this. It depends on how you want it and the shape you want. So I'll go ahead and hem the bottom of my sleeve like this. I'll hem it. After hemming, I'll now make a gather stitch at the middle of this strip one by one. Now this is one of my I have gathered the the center of it. I had to use the black thread for you to see the the gathers that I make at the center here. So let's I forget the length of my strip is 2.5 so I'll now take one of the thread here and start pulling to form gathers that I want so I'm going to start pulling like this I'm going to start pulling till I finish gathering heat so to get us it very well. This is it. This is one of the strip. I'm going to do the same process to hold this strip. Get us at the middle and pull it to form this. So when I finish that, when I finish all that, I'll... now I'm done with the ruffle. As you can see, it has formed the ruffle already. And I've hemmed the bottom of my sleeve. I used the process I taught you earlier on. So to attach it to my sleeve now, I'm going to measure half inch from the tip of my, from the head of my sleeve here. I'm going to measure half inch all through. So I'm going to connect the points. But at the side here too, I'm going to mark one inch that I marked for my side seam for the sleeve and as well here too i'm going to mark one inch for me to know where i'm going to place my ruffle so i'm going to connect it and as well here too i'm going to mark half inch round <coughs> before placing my ruffle at all and stitch so going to mark it half inch going to connect just like this so now for me to join my ruffle to it so i'm going to split it like this I want to make it cloudy very well. That's why I'm still pulling it. So I'll not split into two like this. I hope you can see the thread that I used to gather it. I'm going to split it like this. Make sure I find the middle of it. So now there's the middle of it. I'll just place it here now from here. I'll place it here on the line that I marked, this half inch that I marked. I'm going to stitch at the middle. I'll be splitting and stitch at the middle till I reach here. When I reach here, I'll just take another one, split it into two, join it like this. 
to reach this place is enough for this so for me to get the second line i will just open up or before stitching this i will just mark half an inch from this line too i'm going to mark half an inch so the interval between the ruffles will now be half an inch all through i'll make sure i roll it out like this so after the now i finish with the first line of my ruffle so i'll now go ahead to my second line by opening it up like this to stitch on the second line that i made that i drew the other time half inch after the first line so i'll just do the same process that i did on the first one i'll split it like this I'll just split it into two like this to get the center of it. I'll now place the center on the second line that I drew the other time like this. I'll go ahead and stitch on the middle of it. So when it is finished here, I'll just place it on it like this and continue sewing. When I finish that, I'll... Now I'm done with the second line of my ruffle. As you can see, it's very nice and beautiful. So I'll now go ahead and open it up like this and stitch on the third line from here to this place. I'll move on to the fourth line, to the fifth line, till I reach up here. So after I'm done with the ruffle all through, I'll place it on each other like this to stitch my side seam, which is one hinge from here to this place. So guys, if you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to support my channel. In any way, if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing, you can join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing, created by Akurudi Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akurudi Adenike. Till I see you in my next video, guys. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.